This hallway looks pretty old. What up, guys? It's a hallway full of rubbish robots. Sorry, machine life forms. But this is definitely getting a bit strange. We now have a clearly intentionally made passageway under a city that should not be here. So hopefully there's a good explanation to this. That hour is about to get weird. Which uh, is also reasonably likely. Hey, crazy drill robots. You're weird. You freak me out. I don't like you. Going to have to murder you. Is that okay? Nice. Glad we came to this agreement. We're picking up lots and lots of good chips. Uh, I'm also getting a fair bit of money. At some point, I'm going to go on a bit of a shopping spree and upgrade my chip capacity. That is what we really want to put our money into for the time being until we get that fully done. Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. You don't say. And this also does not look machine built. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. Well, like it says there, alien facility. I'm gonna go with aliens. Aliens! Oh, there's a dead android. Good sign. Are they... dead? To be. Huh? Look! Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome. <laughs> To the graveyard of our creators. You. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile. Almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon? Now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers! Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy them. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> They're gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. They are some dead-ass aliens. So interesting. So we learned a few things there, that the, the aliens did exist a long time ago, they are actually real. 
And they did, in fact, get killed. And they're all dead now. They were killed by the machines. And the machines regard them as simple life forms, kind of like plants with no real purpose. Maybe like a purpose only to invade other planets to not do anything else. Interesting. I mean, they're dead dead. They're not even like regular dead. Back they're this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what she said. Tubi, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Sorry, I was looking while they were talking, I was looking for another route. Ah, here we go. There's like a little extra side bit here, which we can't do much with now, but there's a little treasure chest. Interesting. No idea where it goes yet. Okay. So that was the revelation and a half. Oh, robot slaughter. Right. Adam and Eve, huh? Go figure. Ooh. Hey, it's Jackass. Oh, Jackass. Hey, how's it hanging? Yeah. You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you. I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? Uh, sure. So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. Cool. So, does what's in the tin. We can also save, like usual. Also, we could move around the map, which is really, really handy, especially when doing side quests, among other things. Neat, huh? Let's head back to the resistance camp for now. You see how it works. Oh, bloody controller. There we go. If that wasn't enough weirdness for you. I mean, this is literally the start of the weirdness. I'm, I hope you're all prepared and you're sat comfortable in your seats. I mean, unless you're watching this in real time rather than, like, in one go. And then I wouldn't get too comfortable because multiple days will pass. Right. What I want to do here, before we get going, is... Need any maintenance? Yes, I do. What I want... I can't really upgrade the pod right now, because we're still missing most of the things. But, we can buy storage. Uh, we're going to buy the 16 storage, currently. I can just sell some stuff, by the way. There is loads of things I, I got that I do not need. And I will go through it. These are chips we got. Uh, broken firearm, for example. Complete junk. Do not need. Battery. Complete junk. Do not need. Do not sell the operating system chip. It is very, very silly, because I don't think I saved it. Tire. Do not need. Machine cores times 8. Do not need. Bingo. Ancient masks. Very valuable. Precious earrings. Look at this. Look how much money we're making. Oh, oh. Delicious money. Must really be careful not to sell that chip. Natural rubber we need. Uh, anything that's going to be exchanged for money is safe to sell. Okay. So we've suddenly got a shitload of money. And we're going to buy all the storage. All of it. And we're also going to buy hammer because hammer is amazing. There we go. So, all of a sudden, we've gained a huge amount of stuff. But first, this is related to the side quest video. If you haven't seen it, and you're, wait and you're watching it later, this will be spoiling for a quest we did in there. So. Huh? She's gone. You looking for the lady who was here? Yeah, she left a while ago. Seemed pretty upset about something too. Oh, and she was armed to the teeth. Oh no. Hey, I just remembered. She wanted me to give you something. Here. Huh? All this? Yeah, she said she didn't need it anymore. Hey, don't ask me. I don't understand women at all. So, we got some good upgrade materials and some money. And, yeah, we can guess what happened to her. Sad times. Okay. Right then. Sorry to do these things like a slightly out of order, but it makes sense to get the hand in reward for that now than it would be to wait till the next side quest video and do that then, if that makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, what do I want to do now? Uh, I want to put some chips in. I don't know what sort of space I've got. Let's have a quick look. Oh, yeah, also going to change the pod program over to the hammer. Oh, I can actually get a second pod now. I need to go and sort that out. Uh, anyway, so 
we'll leave that for now. No! Swine! Best skills, plug in chips. Uh, set type A, customize, attack. I have a weapon attack one, I can just slap him for the time being. Uh, what else we got? Defensive. No, deadly heal. Deadly heal's good. Auto heal's interesting. So we can slap that in. Uh, what else we got? Support pods. Moving speed up. Drop rate up. Have I actually got any of those in? Have I got one of those in already? I do. A drop rate up. Yeah, so we'll put a second one in for the time being. Since we don't... Uh, might as well do an XP gain as well. Uh, drop rate up. Cool. And I may as well just add extra ones in here because I'm not doing anything else with them. Okay, that's... I can only do 20%, can I? Okay, let's just... Let's take away one of those then. Don't need that one. Cool. That'll do for now. I need to buy some chips, but I'll do that off camera and won't bore everyone with it. Okay. Next thing to do... Is save. And then... We gotta go out to the bunker. He says, mashing the button wrong. Transport to the bunker. Cool. Sweet. Interesting thing is we're not teleporting ourselves up to the bunker, we're controlling one of our bodies up in the bunker. Which I think is kind of cool. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Anything else, Commander? Is something wrong? No? Good. Then carry on with your mission. Gee, sorry, boss. Oh, you heard the lady. Though, we have mail. So we're going to go say hi to Pascal, but I wonder if we can say, um, where is Operator 6 -0? Where are you? There you are. Hello. Hey, welcome back. So... Um, can you show me the new data you brought? Oh, isn't she lovely? Oh, it's a trash chester. Bonk! Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Yeah, what she said. So, we're going to transport back to the city ruins. We need to go see Pascal again. Uh, so, we may as well go straight to the point. No, although there is something I'm going to look for first. Desert camp. Yeah. So, I want to mosey back to the desert. There's a reason for this. There is a pod somewhere in the desert. And I think I, I remember roughly where it is. And I'm going to go look for it. Th you know. This is where uh, the game, obviously, with the ability to teleport, gets a bit easier to move around. And we can just go from place to place. Uh, again, if we, you, I'm going to be doing the side quest in a separate video, but if you skip all the side quest, it, and it isn't actually as long as you'd imagine, so. But it is much, much easier to move around now, which is really nice. So we're going to ignore Jackass here, because we did some side quests with Jackass, but we have no interest in doing that right now. And going to head towards another teleporter we haven't activated in the desert. The desert area is absolutely huge, and there's something in the desert I want to show you. I'm going to leave it a bit cryptic-y like that for the time being. Slaughter this machine! Oh no, the pipe is there. I need to get the pipe. Oh, nice. oh yes, excuse me. Oh, this sore throat is killing me. Oh, we need to pick up goodies. There's a little secret e a network area, isn't it? Oh, really? Not my internet. Whatever. It's alright, I don't need no help. I'm a big boy. So we're going to mosey over to the main sandy desert area over here, as 2B stumbles. It could be the high heels, to be honest, 2B. Not being funny, but I'm not sure sand and high heels probably go together very well. Oh, but there's usually a rare material over here somewhere. Slaughter! Oh, he's not dead, I'm sorry. There we go. Amber. Amber's okay. With our movement speed increase, which is quite nice, also we've got our... Um, we've also got uh, XP up and a few other bits and bobs in there now. That is not what I want to... F like, as a final thing, but it'll do for the time being. Whee! 
Right. There's a couple of items and a few bits we need to look for, so... It's roughly... It was roughly around sort of this area, I believe. But then, the problem with sand and deserts is it all does look very similar. So, we have to reasonably thoroughly scour the area until I find what I'm looking for. I believe it's not a glowing item like this. It's a... It's just a mark of information in the sand. Aha! There it is. Yoink! Is this a pod? Hypothesis. The owner discarded this pod and left it in safe mode. Motives unknown. Why was it abandoned? Pod, reactivate it for me. If it's usable, try to overwrite the original owner with my ID. Activation complete. Access granted. Previous owner ID successfully overwritten. Special weaponry now available. Cool, so we can now swap our pods around. So, gonna leave pod A's got the hammer and so does pod C. Wham! That's the hammer, by the way. Isn't that awesome? And now we have two pods, we can charge them up and activate both at once, like... Can we not? I thought we could. Maybe I'm imagining things. Yeah, that's a little bit later. Anyway, now there is a place over here somewhere in the middle of the desert that we're going to try and aim for. Then there's something I want you all to see. I know it sounds very cryptic, but trust me. Bonk. I think it's about this way. Oh yeah, also, there's something super weird over here too. You know what, let's have a bit of a weird day. I'm gonna maim these poor suckers. See that guy? See that guy right there? Gentlemen, squish! Bam! The, the hammer attack is absolutely amazing. Hello! Normally I've saved this sort of optional stuff for uh, the side video, but I feel this is a good place to stick it. Because this is... Weird stuff. Oh, did you did you just try and stab me from up above? Absolutely not. Nice, slaughtered. Good. Now we got that out of the way. Let's head back towards this. It's a door. Hello. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Why? Why did you have to find this place? You are fortunate enough not to be qualified to enter. Oh, but how cruel the gods can be to allow such misfortune to occur. Please, you must get away from here as far as you can. Just standing here will be detrimental to your health, as you will be slowly consumed by rage. There is only one thing I can do for you now. I will, nay, I must self-destruct. This will result in a rain of useful materials. They are yours to keep. One day you will discover the truth of that, I am sure. May you live a long and healthy life. Okay, good. It's a locked door in the desert. Wonderful. I have no idea either. I really, I really, I genuinely don't. I'm not even mucking around with you. I have no idea. Weird, right? Okay, so we're looking for the center area of the desert. Though it is a smidge on the old foggy side, so I might have a bit of difficulty finding it. Is it up here, maybe? Ah, that looks promising. Yep, there we go. Good stuff. Hello. Gentlemen, I believe I need access to this. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, you survived. That's unfortunate. Good stuff. Well then. We're going to save and carry on. But this will be useful later. Now... The desert is vast, 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 vast area. It really is big, and it goes a long way in that direction, too. But there really is something I must show you. It is this way. All will become clear. Or perhaps substantially less clear. Yeah, I think that may be the case. Get all foggy again. Guys, I'm a little bit lost. Can you give me a hand? Take that as a no. Ah, right. Missed. Oh yeah, I should probably show you the new pod. The new pod has missiles. Whee! 
So rather than bullets, you can do like a missile attack, which is kind of cool. Ooh, I may be stopped from going in the, as far as I want to go. The wind is strong. But luckily there's something over here. Well this is weird. <laughs> I leave you all this little mystery. I hope you enjoyed the set and I hope to catch you all next time. Till then, bye bye.